Okay, for the next steps on your coil basket. So right now you started the middle bottom. So you're gonna start bringing it up. So this is almost the size of this. So you could make yours wider if you wanted. It all depends on how you want your uh, basket shape. So um, here's one with a much wider base and then it just came straight up. These, uh, the walls are just stacked right on top of uh, the base. So when you're working, and remember, you always need the cord going off to your side, and it's like it's talking to your other hand. So if I wanna add, um, say I wanna add a color, um, I'm gonna add a different color. I'll add red, I'll add a little bit to the base, and then I'm gonna start bringing up the side so you can see uh, how that works. So you thread your needle, back here, and we get the end of that, that new piece of yarn, whatever color it is. And you can change your colors whenever you want. So I've got all these other colors hanging off and you just have those going along with the cord and you're gonna wrap directly over them. So you're gonna wrap and I've already got like four or five, so I'm just gonna go two times with this right over all of my ends. Then you hold it where you want it and then you stitch it where you want it. So I'm holding it and I want it right there next to that row. I'm gonna stitch it right next to that row. So it's a direct stitch. It'll make a little line. So I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna hold it here and then I'm gonna stitch it right here. Cause here, I'm, this is right where I want it. I'm gonna stitch it right there. And that be just like a line that connects right there. I'm gonna wrap one more time seven times makes about the right um, length three four five six seven i'll hold it where i want and then i'm going to stitch it right there where i want it so if i say all right I, this is this is how wide i want it i want it to come up kind of gradually you're going to do the same thing where you wrap your cord two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, instead of just holding it next to, I'm gonna start putting it on top of the other row. The best way to at least do your first row on top is to make like a figure eight. So that means I'm gonna go, it's gonna be a figure eight around this row and around this one. So I'm gonna bring it over. And if I looked at it like a diagram, I'm gonna hold it on top of that row. I'm gonna stitch down. So it's kind of sitting on top. Then I'm gonna bring it back around. So I just have to think like, how does it go like a figure eight around both of those rows? So you don't see the stitch sticking up it's like in there, like an X. Then I'm gonna go back and wrap. So I've got that kind of sitting on top of there and it's a little harder to, to wrap. You have to kind of work it in there after you've stitched it. Six, seven. Now, instead of just stitching straight down like this, I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna do like a figure eight stitch hold it above the row where I want it. I'm gonna stitch down, pull it through, and then bring it back. So I have to think, how does it make a figure eight around both of those rows? And it starts to sit on top of, I'm gonna move this stitch over to where I was. It starts to sit on top of the row below it. 
So then I go back and I wrap and all these little strings, I just act like they are part of the chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna hold it above. I'm gonna stitch down to the one row below it. I'm gonna bring it back around so I make like a figure eight. And then I'm gonna wrap again. Now you can just stitch directly down, especially now that it's kind of starting to sit on top. I could wrap and I could just stitch straight down like this. But the figure eight stitch helps it really sit on top of that other row, at least the first time that you come around. Here's the difference. So like this one is the figure eight stitch. You don't really see it sticking out. Here's just a regular stitch. It's like out on top. So I'm ready to start a new piece of yarn. So to remind you on that, you just um, fold it, smash it through the needle. I get the end of my new piece. Doesn't matter how many ends you have going here. You just act like they're part of the cord. Here's my new end. I'm going to hold that with all these other ends. And I'm going to wrap right on top of all those strings. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to hold that on top of that row. And then I'm going to stitch down to the row right below it. I'm going to bring it back because I'm still, I like that figure eight stitch that makes it sit on top of it. So I'm holding on to these. I'm going to go back and I'm going to wrap. Four, five, six, seven. Bring it in. Hold it above the row where I want it. Stitch down. Pull it through. and then I'm going to bring it back. When I say figure eight, I'm talking about it makes like a figure eight around these two rows. It'll make like a crisscross. Then you go back and you wrap. Okay, so I started a new collar. It is really sitting on top almost too much because I don't, I don't want a tiny basket. So now it's already above the row beneath it. So now I can just do like I was doing when I made the base. So I can wrap it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I can just stitch it to the row underneath. I'm good with it kind of coming out a little bit because I don't need it. It's already sitting on top of that other row. So I can just keep wrapping it seven times and stitching it just down to the row next to itself. So you could see like on here, you can see the all the different um, rows stick, uh, stitched to the other ones. This person, they kept going to the middle when they shouldn't have, but it kind of made a cool design. Um, but you can see here, like this was a, a figure eight stitch because that's hidden under there. So you can do it where you just stitch to the row um, below it. But for that first row, I think it helps if you do a figure eight. So then I just continue. I just build this out. You can hold it out more if you want your uh, walls to be uh, more curved and gradual. So this is like more gradual. This is a little more extreme. It's like the very flat wide bottom and then it comes directly up. This one's a little more gradual. This one is more like a bowl. It's a little more curved. So practice doing that in class. Make sure you have your stuff and then I can help you. Just always have this going off to your side or you're, you'll get in your own way.